the second lecture, I will talk about the dynamics of energy. This dynamics is visible in this picture. In fact, it's the dynamics in the core of energy. It spirals to a core and then it goes out again. This is the dynamics in the flow world, the spiraling dynamics. Here we see the whole dynamics. And this is the forbidden apple of knowledge, as also mentioned in the Bible. The spiraling energy goes in, goes out, goes up and down, goes away from the center, goes towards the center. This is all present in this picture. Energy goes in from the top and comes out from the bottom. And that's how you can see it continues to spiral inside and outside. Ancient science talks about yin and yang. And these concepts are perfectly clear once you understand the dynamics of this apple. Yin means going in towards the center and yang means going out away from the center. Let's, let's position ourselves in the center, in the null point. Yeah, that's our point of view. What we'll see then, we see energy coming towards us. This can be visualized as a light, white light coming towards us and it's spiraling counterclockwise. On the other side, we see black light going away from us. You could say darkness. And the spiraling energy that's going away is going clockwise. Again, seen from the center of the apple, from the null point. If it is coming towards us, it is a positive movement. And if it's going away from us, it's a negative movement. Yeah, here we get more energy, here energy goes away. So you can say this is adding energy, this is subtracting energy. Also at the outside we see the same kind of movement. Here the energy goes in, here the energy goes out. Here the energy goes back to the center, but now it's on the outside. This is an inner movement. This is an outer movement. This is going back to the center, to the equator of the apple, so to say. And this is going further away to the top of the apple. And you see two kinds of movements. Movements where the arrow, where the triangle is pointed down. It's here and here. These are both yin energies, female energies. Here the points are up. The triangle is pointed up, outwards. And air and fire are yang are male energies. These four phases of energy are visible in the forbidden apple of knowledge. In the Bible we find a prayer, Our Father who art in heaven. There's another prayer complementary to this one, and it's not present in the Bible, but it is present in the Essene Gospel of Peace. And this prayer is Our Mother who art in earth. It's exactly the same prayer, but it's a different uh, addressed to different energies. Our mother is of course planet Terra. Kaya means mother Terra. Our father is not God, our father is Helios, the sun around which Terra orbits. That is our father. And our father is uh, ejecting plasma, it's, you can say fire, is a fire planet or a fire sun. And Terra is a water planet. About 70% of the surface is covered with water. So this stands for water and our father stands for fire. Our father is in heaven. Heaven means air, it's around us, that's air. And of course terra means, earth means earth. So here we have again the four energies. It's just a pity that the Bible only gives us the upper prayer and doesn't really isn't really clear about who our father really is. So you could say the prayer of our father is a prayer for the young energies, for the male energies. And the other prayer is a prayer for the yin energies. And we need both prayers to keep it in balance. Our science, especially quantum physics, is trying to unify the four forces they call forces of nature into one equation. They call it the theory of everything, of the grand unified theory. But they've not been, uh, nobody has been able to do that. But it's very easy once you see that every 
force, so-called force, is related to a phase of the spiraling energy. And if you do that, then integrating becomes very easy. There are also four types of energy. In fact, there are shadows of energy. Kinetic energy is related to Earth. Chemical energy is related to air. Magnetic energy is related to water, as the work of Emoto clearly shows. And electric energy is related to fire. So again, we see that the four types of energy are related to shadows they, yeah, they bring on the wall, so to say. And these four types are also present in this ancient symbol of Tao. Yang means out, yin means in. You can also say yin is positive, yang is negative. Or you can use the triangles again. Pointed down is yin, pointed up is yang. Or you can use the lines from the I Ching. An unbroken line is the yang energy, the male energy, and a broken line is the female energy, the yin energy. Now what we see in this symbol, we see that the black dot is the inner energy of the male, the inner male energy, so it's air. And the big black drop is representing the outer side of the male energy, which is fire. And on the other side, the inner part, the smaller part, is the earth energy going into the core, and the outer side of yin is water. So we can see these four energies present in the symbol of Tao. We can also make it like a lemniscat, an, an infinite movement, which is spiraling all the way down. This is the inner spiral, earth and air. This is the outer spiral, water and fire. Earth is going in, air is going out. This is going in, that is going out. So we can also uh, depicted in this way. 